Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create the skeleton barrel from Clash Royale. The broken skeleton barrel. First of all, we hit 300,000 subscribers on our channel, on the channel Clay Claim. This is amazing, this is crazy, just for creating with some clay. Thank you so much, guys. I am preparing a special for tomorrow. Well, I already have prepared it, <laughs> but it is uploaded tomorrow, so don't miss it. Second, yeah, Overwatch. I can already feel some of you who are very angry and typing right now, hey, dude, where is the tutorial for Overwatch? It's still not finished. I am sorry, but, well, you better have a video this Friday than no video, so I decided to create this, to create the skeleton barrel from Clash Royale. I am working hard. I will finish this Reaper from Overwatch. So please, please, please be patient and I will upload it as soon as possible. I think um, it will be finished within the next days, but I will keep you updated on, well, everywhere. Um, I think I will post some pic pictures on Instagram later. And now let's jump in. Let's create the last card of the four new ones. The Skeleton Barrel from Clash Royale currently creating the thorns. These are eight thorns we will stick to the side. Um, well, I want to add, you can see this wooden ball inside. You don't need this wooden ball if you are creating just the barrel without the opening and crushing effect. But as I want to create it, we have to cut it open after hardening in the oven. This is why we need some filling. So the barrel is almost finished. I decided to just take this wooden ball um, and it worked pretty great. This will be the connection part to the balloons. And now we will use just some aluminum wire and this will be the rope, the rope connection to the balloons. There are three balloons in the game um, of the skeleton barrel and I just created two of the ropes. The third one will be broken, so we will create that afterwards. We we'll just stick it in. This one is ready to go into the oven. Meanwhile, we will mix some bright blue for the balloons. And as filling, you can uh, take another wooden ball. Well, I didn't have one from this size, so I just decided to take this glass ball I had. And we will add some more details and also the rope later. But first, there's another one. <laughs> we will wrap around the blue clay, make it pretty thin, so the uh, bursting effect will look greater. And even another bigger wooden ball and we will create another bursting effect of the balloons. If you have seen the thumbnail you know that I want to or that I am actually destroying these balloons with uh, some arrows. So this is the broken rope from the third balloon. So we will glue that all together after hardening in the oven. Just adding the details. <laughs> And the last part, and then we are ready to go into the oven, the arrows. I um, thought about making a special tutorial about the arrows, but they are pretty boring. At least if you don't, um, if you are not shooting on anything. So I thought, let's create the arrows together with the skeleton barrel. Um, to be precise, this is two tutorials in one today. <laughs> I hope you like that. This is the red part, the feathers on the arrows, putting it all onto a plate for oven hardening. And here we go. Freshly baked skeleton barrel, the arrows and the balloon. 
and now the funny part of assembling starts. But first, let's draw the skull. I'm using white acrylic paint for that. It really should look like as if it is painted, so um, I didn't try to create this from white clay, just take some color. And after drying, just wait a few minutes, we will cut the barrel open. And this was a bit tricky, but it worked pretty great with a wooden ball. <laughs> and now we will also um, destroy the barrel a bit more to get a nice bursting effect. Uh, you can destroy it as much as you like. And now we will start gluing with some super glue and these three skeletons from my tutorial, the Skeleton Army. Check it out if you haven't. It's one of the most viewed tutorials from my Clash Royale tutorials. Well, beside the um, training camp. Yeah, I think it's the training camp. You asked me a lot to create another arena from Clash Royale. So this tutorial will be after the Overwatch tutorial. Please participate and take part in the poll which arena should be created next. And this was pretty satisfying <laughs> to get these glass balls out of their wrap of blue clay. And it looks pretty realistic. Um, I don't know if you have seen some slow-mo um, footage of a bursting balloon. I just love these images or of glass breaking very slowly and I really tried to, to get this the same look. Yeah, meanwhile we finished the arrows just gluing this balloon onto the rope and also for the other side as well. And now we have this third balloon gluing right in the middle and I thought this rope could be cut by an arrow. So I glued it right in position. Um, I didn't have an image in mind. I just uh, went crazy with this super glue <laughs> and glued it all together. And uh, well, we are coming to an end for this great bursting skeleton barrel. That's it. Don't miss my 300,000 subscriber special, which I will upload tomorrow. If you like this tutorial, well, there's also the Mega Knight, the Flying Machine and the Cannon card from Clash Royale. All the new cards are created right now. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. 300,000 subscribers can't be wrong. <laughs> Take care, have a great week and bye.